Okay, good morning. Welcome back to Manchester. It's been a few days. Have you missed me? Have you missed me? Well, it's uh, remember, remember the 5th of November. Um, Gunpowder, Catholics, bombs, uh, Parliament. But the only fire I see burning is the one that burns deep inside my soul, which is an eternal love for our Creator, God, God Himself. What a Chad. Look what He's done. And uh, so many people don't appreciate what He's done. All by himself, he gave you all this, and then you're like, Wee, I gotta moan, get angry. Wee. This building, so 20th century. Oh God. City center blues, here we go. Okay, well, we're on uh, King Street here, and uh, I've had my first, oh shit, moment. There's House of Fraser, still going. Look at these cyclists ruining it for all the drivers, look at them. Riding side by side in parallel, how dare they? Saving the environment without producing carbon bastards. Look at them. Hey, mate, you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, so my first oh shit moment. The um, Pro, sorry, Tacit Pro H A M A S have uh, volleyed back. You know, we've all seen the kidnapped posters that the Israelis are putting up. Well, the, the um, pro Palestine people, to be fair to them, are saying murdered and ethnically cleansed. Now, my opinion on this is um, I'm one of um, logic and the correct use of language. If these Palestinian children have died, and I hope they haven't, but if they have, massive condolences to their families, but it's very likely that um, it was the human shielding effect by the, the fascist uh, people who are running Gaza right now, putting them in harm's way. And that is just to get you fired up and make you think of, of um, other atrocities like Rwanda or uh, Burundi or even what the Turks did to Armenia, to the Armenians, sorry. So, um, yeah, that is, that's a legal term, murdered. If you, you die when uh, Israel hits a military target and that when they're ethnically cleansed, don't think so, bro. Again, incorrect use of language. Genocide, no. It's, uh, it's completely inaccurate to call it a genocide. Oh, it's quite good to be back, I guess. Here we are at Sa Satan, Satan Square. And uh, in front of me is the latest iteration of the Audi TT, which looks like now, it looks like a dwarf version of the Audi R8. Still a hairdresser's car, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh dear, if the city wasn't busy enough, they've taken away 80% of the pedestrian walking space. Pedestrian space! And they've put up the German markets. Guten Tag, Deutschland über alles, German market, very good. Deutschland über alles, danke schön. Good lads. Thank you. Where are my good Germans from? It says uh, Stuttgart. Where's Stuttgart? Stuttgart. Stuttgart. And uh, it's D for, D for Dick. No, it's D for Deutschland. Oh, Bremen. Bremen is where they brew Becks. Here's some good German engineering security. You'll never get through that. Deutschland Uber Alles. Imperial stormtroopers on their weekend off. Here's some music, but I see, with my own eyes, mummy, I see some very based, as in based in reality, free of chanting and ideology. I see a memorial for the 240 people still kidnapped in, uh, in Gaza. Now, here we have some factual information. Matan, 23, kidnapped from his home by Hamas. Bring him home. Bring him home. And I believe, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. So I believe here we have 240 pairs of shoes and teddy bears. Can you imagine? They took a nine-month-old baby. They took a five-year-old child. Hi, guys. You're right. And it's, it's wonderful that there's this memorial here. But com contrast this to the horrible posters you see that are pro-Hamas down on King Street. Bring them home. Emma and Yuli. Imagine taking a three-year-old, two three-year-olds. Imagine taking a nine-month-old baby. Thank you very much. 
Abigail Lee down. Imagine taking a three-year-old child. You know, we don't know what they're doing there. We have no idea. I'm a father of three. I've got a four-year-old, a nine-year-old, an 11-year-old. I'm... It breaks my heart. There's no words for it. There's no words. So, uh... How can you remain neutral? It's like a nine-month-old baby. He's ten months old now. Nobody knows what's happening with these people. For aerial. We do what we do, eh? For aerial. Ding, 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 ding. Squeal, piggy! Speaking of mammals, there's a couple of officers here with a very large beast in between their legs. Who were? It's a horse. A horse, my kingdom for a horse, that's it. That's how you get on a giant horse, you use some uh, street furniture. Well, it's not actually, Yeah, oh, I know. I myself. I know, how are you doing? I'm brown, are you? Good, I didn't recognize you in the helmet. That's it. That is a big horse though. This would be the, this would be the Riot Smasher 3000. Imagine this guy. All right, go on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, this is how you do it without street furniture. Go on, yes! Good stuff. Oh, okay, you win, horse, you win. <laughs> you win, horse, I'm not in your... Brilliant. Just a few more seconds of that lovely clumpy, clumpy horse noise. Hello. Cheers, oh, thanks, man, all the best. Hey, hey guys, you okay? Hey. Nice to meet you, you okay? Hi. You're welcome. Behind me, Manchester vegans, something about pigs, about not eating pigs. I'd give him a hard time, but I'm friends with David Ramsden. David Rams. Hey, David. Hello, Kier, how are you? Yeah, doing well. I'm giving away all the gas licenses today. Very good. <laughs> it's, a, it's an uncanny effect. Hello, guys, how are you? Who else have we got? Angela Rayner. Can I be Angela Rayner for five minutes? Thank you. She's my favorite council estate chaff. Are we allowed to say that? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Wait, let me get it on. Wait, let's get it on. Well. All right, hey guys. For fucking anyone fancy a twenty bag? I'm meeting Connor around the back in the Corsa. This is what Keir Starmer was waving at me. It's an oil and gas extraction license. Um, by order of the government, North Sea Trans. He's given me two licenses. I can drill in the North Sea and the South Sea. Now. I may disagree completely with Extinction Rebellion and Just Stop Oil and all these other ideologues of Mother Gaia, but I do respect your free speech and I appreciate we all have a, a right to have an opinion and to speak it freely. Just don't block any more roads, okay? Look at that bloody hippie playing the electric guitar. <laughs> Hi, it's JP. You're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Thanks, JP. Charlie Beach. All right, well, my friend Ibrahim, from the free Islamic literature has given me a free strong coffee and nice coffee though it is I must carry on with my day don't worry I gave him some chit chat I didn't just uh, steal a coffee off him and then uh, not give him some chit chat we all like a bit of chit chat so here we have Instax by Fujifilm people are queuing they want to take some snappy snaps look at that photon promotion on Market Street I like the outfits that is a nice coat looks warm Pigeon, can I put this in the bin? Is that all right? Do you mind? Is that, uh, oh, is, is that okay? Thanks. The pigeons wait for the human to walk under so they can shit on his bald patch. Bring back dungarees! Woo! All right. Um, Operation Vulcan or a lunchtime trip to Burger King. Probably the latter. Unless something's going on in Burger King. Oh, come on, tram. Someone's being spoken to. Passionately. Jumpy. Okay. Jumpy. Wait. Oh, here comes the van. Here comes the van. Woo! Here comes the van. There he is. 
Operation Vulcan continues. Van is stopped. Go on, Van. Good van. Good van. And uh, Toyota Corolla police. And uh, yeah, something's definitely happening in uh, in Burger. Burger Queen. Authentic regional Brazilian food. What would I know? I'm only half Brazilian. So I watched a video by the mayoral candidate, Nick Buckley, talking about the horror that is Piccadilly Gardens. And uh, most European nations manage to make their city square incredibly pretty. But here they've turned it into a Brazilian slum, literally, favela, favela vibes. Favela vibes with lots of nooks and crannies for criminals and junkies and crackies to fester. Truly not allowed, but the photons, the photons are allowed. Yeah, I'm good. Oh no, I know you're doing security, but I'm not, not a terrorist, it's okay. Do you work for someone? You so work as if I'm supposed to ask. No, no, no. I'm saying you uh, have been taking pictures of Yes, the yes, I'm taking pictures here. Yeah, yeah. All around here. Are you uh, a newscaster? Uh, I mean, do you, I'm just asking questions. No, I'm not. I'm just a guy. Just a regular guy. Any reason you take Any reason? Is that where we're at in, in, in England now? We, we have to answer why we're taking photos? No, you don't have to answer. I have to ask. Though. You have to ask. I have to but we're on a public pavement here. It is, but you're taking pictures of sites that are under construction. Do I look like a terrorist? I don't know, sir. You I, don't know? I'm, I'm not trying to infer anything. I didn't, okay. didn't say okay. that word at all. Yeah. Um, now that we've spoken, are you satisfied of, of my identity? I haven't seen anything, though. Do you, do you want to know who I am? Can you show me any ID? It's just ID? A, it's just a request. ID? Are you police? No. Why do you need my ID? I'm, I'm me. You're you. I'm stood in front of you. What do you need ID for? I'm literally stood in front of you. It's not going to change the fact that I'm stood in front of you. No need to no need to argue. It's just you've been taking No need to argue. I've been trained. All right. I know. Yeah. Yes. But they're, they're, they're mostly for terrorists. Maybe maybe I'm just a guy doing happy freedom loving friendly videos. Well, you can't know. You're not a detective or a policeman, so you're going to never know, are you? You're never going to know. Still I, have to ask I understand. It's your job. It's what they pay you to do. Yes. And I'm sorry if I seem impolite. It's just it's strange for me as a I'm as a as a British man to be asked questions by private security out in public. It's a strange. It's a new experience for me. It's the first part of ACTU. ACGU. ACT. Ask. Anti counter terrorism. Anti counter terrorism. But I promise you, I'm not a terrorist. First thing is promise you, I'm not a terrorist. All I'm saying is, first thing, when you see someone taking pictures, you go and ask them questions, are you... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see any ID on you. Uh, you don't see any ID? But I'm just a, a free man walking, I'm free range, free range human, just walking around. Recording. Yeah, I've been recording the whole thing, because I find your, your approach very interesting. The whole thing's been recorded. It's, you can tell because I'm holding the camera up. No, no, I don't hide it, I'm not hiding no, no, it's fine. It's fine. it. But anyway, my name's Charlie, Charlie Veach. I'm a YouTuber, YouTube. I do videos. I do exciting videos right. around Manchester, different cities. That's all I had to ask. Can I shake your hand on video? Right. Thank you, sir. All the best. Please subscribe. Young guy in yellow, very nice to him because he is only doing his job. Poor guy needs to earn a living. He might have kids. Maybe he's got a wife at home nagging him for a new sofa or something. You know, guy's got to earn his money. So I'm happy. We shook hands. Did you see it? Did you see it? There you go. They've had a bit. Okay, fresh off the back of inside success being exposed as a scam, the authorities, hey, how are you doing, are, are checking that these young men have all the right licenses because it's a bit of a, bit of an issue. Oh, thanks, man. Of course you can, one sec. Yeah. Here we go. Look at that, all to the dulcet tones of Quran recitation. So uh, everyone's asking for a bit of cash. You got your plain clothes, plain clothes and the blue baseball cap. He's wearing a camera. It's all kicking off here. Oh, he's not free to go just yet. 
Oh, I'm just a free guy. No, it's not personal. I just do police activity. So, can you please not record me? No, we're in public. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's not personal. I just, this is, yeah. Why are you recording? Police activity is how I, it's how I pay the bills. Sorry? Oh, the police. Uh, there was a company called Inside Success. Young black guys doing the knife crimes. They got fined lots of money for scamming the public. So I think the council has told the police in the plain clothes to check all the charities, all the... Why am I recording? Well, the main reason is because I want to. The second reason is because how I make my living. It's how I make my living. A uh, that's an insult. You're saying my two reasons are not valid. Yeah, like I'm going to obey you, little guy. Don't put my face on it. Anyway, why are you hiding your face like a scary guy? Come on. That's a good enough reason. Okay, I'll accept that. Because it's how I make my living. I've just asked you, why are you staring at me? Anyway, what does your jumper say? You can stare at anybody in public. No, you can stare at anyone, but you can also ask them why they're staring. We're all, we're all free. As long as we don't hurt each other, we're all free to... Well, I think taking pictures of somebody stumbling into a pub, weeing themselves... No, we're talking and I'm doing a video. And then pretending someone with your sister with a skin... Look, he's got his hands down his pants. Look, he's touching his um, family jewels. When you're spotting somebody out in the street, that's called a skin condition. All right, fair enough. No worries, man. All the best, all the best. It's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. It's all good. Guys, if you stopped acting scary, you won't even, the viewers won't even care about you guys. It is suspicious though. Why would you hide your identity if you're not doing anything illegal? Why would you go around spotting out people's uh, skin problems? Why would you do on your video? Alright dude, no worries. Monkey pots, I think the bad joke was with some lady's skin. You. Cool, thank you for your feedback. Thank you. Now you sit on the box. Excuse me. Excuse me, pal. Can I have a bit of two meters? I was sat here enjoying the, you know, the space. Thank you. He's got his box in. Tensions are raised. The tensions are tensioning. Oh, he's oh, come on, man. Don't snitch me to the cops. Don't snitch me to the cops, man. What's he snitching me for? It's a matter of subjective taste of a video. He, he took issue with one episode, and he thinks it's a police matter, but then again, you know. Okay, the tall guy in the baseball cap is a policeman. The gentleman in the navy blue hoodie that's talking in the middle is a Manchester City Council. Well, don't appear on my camera, mate. We're in public, bro. Nah, nah, nah. You're not my boss. I'm not your boss. So let's stop with the orders, kids. Scary young man. Scary man. Sorry guys, you got something you want to say to me or do to me or you trying to reverse into me? All right, trying to reverse into me? Okay, fair enough. It's good, man. You're nice, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're all, these guys would always 
be against the police, but they're all telling the policeman to try and shut down the cameraman. Dude, we're in public. We're equal. Enough with the orders, boys. Enough. Of course you can. Take it. My name's Charlie Veach. I'm a YouTuber. I'm happy for you guys to take videos of me. What? You don't bored them. Bored? Is that the best you've got? That I'm bored? I'm not I'm not I'm not hurting. I wouldn't put it too close to my face, mate. Yeah, I wouldn't put it too close to my face. Nah, 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 nah. If I stick it in your face, you can move my hand too, little man. You you do what to me? Bro, you're Oh, what are you gonna do, boys? Oh, you think I'm scared of you little guys? You're not showing your charity up very well, are you? Not so close to my face, man. Dude, what is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why are you hiding your face, little kids? Little boys, little boys, little boys, scary little boys. Scary little boys. Yeah, your alphas uh, told you what to do. You know you, bro, you're a little bitch, you know that? I'm a little bitch. You're, a little bitch. you're calling you know someone that? who's six foot you're five a little bitch. I'm bang yeah. him on one, you know that? What? I bang him on one, you know that? Fuck off, man. Are you, you don't fuck off. Are you asking for that? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'll take all of them. All eight of them. I do appreciate the police support. Yeah. Anyway, just in case you're wondering how it kicked off, I was filming, they came up to me, he said he was going to F-U-C-K my mother and then S-T-A-B me. So then I, I moved him away. You okay, bro? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Ibrahim. Thank you, Ibrahim. But I better go. I better go. I don't want to make it hard for you guys. Should I go? Yeah. They'll be going now. Okay, they're going. Thank you. When you're ready.